What's going on guys? So I just wanted to uh, show this video here that Pierre Polyev posted on X and says, Hey dad, how are we going to afford to buy a home in this country? And he's basically at some sort of workplace here. He's talking to some people and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they have to say. Yeah, and, that, and that's the thing, right? And I've said this in other videos, you know, Trudeau's goal seems to be, whether it's on accident, I think it's on purpose, but whether it's on accident or on purpose, 3 million people without a home, 3 million families without a home, and that number is only going to increase because we can't build any homes on a vast amount of land that we have. It's insane. And that's what, what I mean about Trudeau. He keeps harping on this oh, I'm here to help, and I, I want these kids now to have the same opportunity that their parents and grandparents had. Well, if you did, you would have helped solve this problem already. Like, how could you possibly even be stupid enough to believe someone like Justin Trudeau at this point? It's been nine years, guys. He's driven this country into the ground, especially in the last four or five years. And there's still people who want to vote for this idiot again, and it's just... This is why I don't, and I'm not saying this because of I'm so conservative, I don't want liberals to vote. Liberals can vote. Everyone with a brain should be able to vote. But if you just go, duh, Trudeau, well, why do you like Trudeau? Die, because I like him, and I'm going to parrot a bunch of shit he said without even checking if it's true. Like, come on. Like, it's just, you, know, you need to do some sort of, you know, reform voting system so that some idiot can't just write out someone who knows what they're talking about's vote. Right, like you can get someone who knows everything about politics and is an expert on it, they make their vote, and then some idiot comes along who knows nothing and they cancel each other out. That doesn't make sense. We got to do something about that. We, we can't just have just any old moron voting, it doesn't make any sense. But like Pierre Pauly have said, we need to get the bureaucracy out of the way, we need to make sure that uh, homes can be built safely but as quick as possible and for as cheap as possible so we can, you know get more people into homes at a fair price. Okay, you can't just build a bunch of mansions. No one's going to be able to afford it. And the builders are going to lose their ass because this house that was supposed to sell for 4 million is only going to sell for way less than that. So, you know, just, just build single family starter homes. Start, let's start with that because those are the people who need the most help. Okay. Like when I grew up, we lived in a bungalow in Oakville, Ontario. That bungalow, by the way, right now would sell for over a million dollars. 
will start building these newer bungalows as cheap and as safe. Of course, you have to make them, you know, safe and, you know, structurally and everything like that. But you can build smaller, cheaper homes so that start young families who, you know, are, you know, two 25-year-olds with a, a four-year-old and a two-year-old can afford to buy a three-bedroom place that's, you know, not the biggest, but it's got a decent backyard, you know, just a basic starter home for one hundred fifty to two hundred thousand dollars. You can't find that anywhere close to Oakville, let alone in Oakville. So, I mean, it's just a, an absolute joke what's happening with the housing market, and it needs to change sooner, or else a lot of people are going to be struggling even more so than they are now. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel, and I'll be back shortly with another video.